What's up, everyone? We're talking the Passage season recap. We had an amazing season. We're going to talk about some stuff, and we got a surprise guest in the studio. Ooh, ooh, let's talk. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Can't take y'all nowhere. Man. Man. Mm -hmm. We in here. But let me just say this. Right now, our lovely guest wants us to sing right now, and we about to do that. Let me tell uh, you. Is that what we're doing? Yes, we are. It's about oh. to be. Oh. Memo. Memo. Wait, can we introduce her properly first, though? Fine, fine, fine. But I'm going to sing today. No, you're going give to the, give the introduction today since you eager beaver over Let here. Let me tell wow. you guys, we have the most beautiful, magnificent, wonderful, and up-and-coming actress, our fave, who plays Amy, the lovely Sanaya City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You guys not ready? You guys not ready? What? I thought you guys ready. Not one person. Oh okay, so we call that right. That was an intro. That's Ooh, right. The chat what? is going crazy right now. Hey, right? so everybody, Maybe. welcome back. This is, I know the season has concluded, but we back. We Again, back in here. We, we couldn't get enough. We know you couldn't get enough. All right, so we back trying doing a season recap of all the goodness that is the passage. Yes. That's yes. what we're doing today. Yes, we are. So we're going to get into it kind of, uh, and like I said, we're definitely we're going to talk to Miss Sydney over here about some things, whether it's questions or yes. things that we uh, came across during the season, our yes. favorite uh, episodes. Oh, yeah, or we got mm -hmm. some questions. We got some stuff. As, as you know, throughout this season, we talk about some stuff. We keep That's it right. right. Yeah, we Jack, keep it you right. guys got questions because I know you do. Some of y'all are already in there. AKA Ivan, how you doing? What's up, Ivan? How you doing? What's happening? How you doing? <laughs> but if you got some questions, let us know because we're happy she's here. We know you're happy she's here. So ask so let's go ahead and get it started. Let me introduce, or let let me let the panel introduce themselves for the final time this season. Apparently, I'm AKA Wild Thing, but you can call me Jackie <laughs> Ray. <laughs> I'm on the fence, but I'm also Jackie. <laughs> I'm optimistic, and you already know I'm your girl, Deshauna. Oh man! And all I do, I just keep it moving. No, you're That's the United Colors of Benetton. <laughs> oh, and the United Colors of Benetton. But I keep it moving. That's my job. All right. So, and Miss Sanaya Sydney, again, thank you for joining us yeah. today so on our final. I know you guys in the chat, you don't even know what to do right now. I think it might literally blow up tonight. <laughs> like yes, the phone, if it starts already. smoking, you know. Um, but the thing we want to start off with is... Um, you know, like I said, this was an amazing season. First season, you know, going down. We didn't really know what was, you know, we first sat down to yeah. it. Like, what's what this going to be about? Yeah. First episode, just off from Jump Street, you know, it was like, I'm hooked. Because yes. sometimes, you know, certain shows, sometimes you'd be like, ah, oh, we got to warm up. Or by yeah. mm -hmm. episode three, now I'm getting in. No, no, no. This was mm -hmm. like first couple minutes Yes. from the chase, you know, mm -hmm. things going down. Mark Paul swooping you up, like, let's go, Amy. I'm like, oh, this dude got the, got the black girl on the run. Like, <laughs> and then we were, listen, we were tripping on that episode when you got, we got slapped. Oh, yeah. so we got, yeah. so we got oh. yeah, Everybody yeah. here was, was ready to fight. <laughs> right? so everybody that I know, they were like, bro, right. why, is she, why are you getting hit? It yes. was Doyle. Mm -hmm. Doyle. Doyle. It was literally like a moment, like you saw, like the suit where we watch. You know, we were all sitting around when that happened. It was like a collective. Oh, like, you know, <laughs> like I didn't know how. I felt. Like I was like, we gotta rip the TV off the wall. Yeah, like, let's rewind and see how we feel that about didn't really this. Just but whatever right. psychologists and writers are on this show, you guys are so smart because we immediately were completely rooting for you. Yes. And after that hit, we were like, that's our daughter. Right. <laughs> yes. Who wants, to, who wants to do anything and say anything about her? Oh, and you should have seen the chat when that happened. People were like, this is type wrong. it in. I can't believe he put wrong. his hands on it. I was like, oh, what? Like, I hope they don't show up to set tomorrow. I'm like, Doyle, like, see him on the street, you know? Like, you the one who took out Amy. Like, you um, were super physical from, like, day one. Yeah. Was that, yeah. that's what we saw. Was that what it was for you, too? All that physical action off top? Yes. It was so fun because I got to do, like, a lot of the stunts and everything. Oh, nice. A lot of the running. I was going to say, because uh, kind of piggybacking on what, uh, what Jackie was saying, in terms of, like, did you have to do any, like, special training? Or like, because I mean, you were out there with bows and arrows. You're yes. running, at, you know, type I thing. I did do some training for archery, okay. and it was really fun. The first day, I was kind of nervous, but then I had a wonderful teacher. That's awesome. And um, she taught me so much. It wow. was like 20 minutes in, we were already shooting some arrows. It was wow. great, and you know, I did like a couple, like couple days of it. Oh, okay, but, yeah. But then, of course, when we were shooting, 
we had to like get back into it and everything but then I did archery um I used to work out a little bit and just hang out with the stunt guys mm-hmm. okay and like okay. when the virals would like do their stunts I'd be like oh my gosh you know <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I did a lot of the running I did some like Jump in and certain things like that. Of course. Yeah, I saw you running now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I saw you running. Like, like, you know, you yeah. 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 Right. I'm definitely. <laughs> that's why we knew we were just because we you know we always like to keep it real and like sometimes on some of the shows you know we'd be like with the black folks getting in you know we were like no Amy is up in there right. handling bit like right. you know that's how you do it that's how I'm gonna tell my daughter be like no like, see you run like Amy like <laughs> stuff goes down you get out yeah like, when he said wait for me and you was like right. bro I'm good <laughs> <laughs> what you mean the, the jets kicked in yes. I was like man I don't know if that was like any uh, you know stunt work that was just her real like mm, like <laughs> my real wheels you know um. Now, in terms of, uh, let's even like back it up a little bit, even before when you were going through the process of getting cast, like oh, yeah. for uh, for any, like what was that process like? Did they have you do any like do the reads for any of the the scenes that were in there, or like kind of what was that that process like? Yes, I got call back three times. Ooh, well, yeah. So first I did a self tape, and then I got a call back, and then I had my test, and that whole process was so fun. I read the script. And I was like, Amy Belafonte, I really like this character. I really Mm -hmm. love her. And, you know, the struggle she was going through, and I was like, if I get this character, having to connect to this would be so different because I've never lost a parent. Mm -hmm. But, of course, I've lost someone. So to connect to that, it was like, oh, okay. Okay, okay, we'll try this. That's really cool. Okay, so that's what you did for your work. You connected Mm -hmm. to, like, your memories of losing someone. And what other things did you do to connect to the character? Uh, Just to feel her you know um to connect to her emotional state of what you think she would be going through what's going through her mind being able to be in the system at oh, yeah. so young and to know like people out in the world are going through this you know yeah so, That's oh my goodness, deal. an empathetic princess. <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. Y'all see this? She's beautiful. The chat, like I said, is blowing up. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where to start with, with the questions, but um, one of the obvious that we were going to ask at some point was, do you have a favorite moment, like a favorite scene that you did? Oh, goodness. There's so <laughs> many. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have so many viewers. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm trying top to three. Think. Top three. There you go. Top three? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Top She's three. Like, like, I, I thought you made it easier. I think you just made it harder. <laughs> <laughs> Top three, let's see, the first one, I would say, oh, man, when I was going, the okay, when I was going out of the window, the very first episode in the mm-hmm. pilot, and I was, like, dropping my bag, and I climbed down that thing, and I got my book, and I ran away, that's one of my favorites, because it was cool, because I had, like, this cool harness and stuff, yeah. and I was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's one. My second favorite, I think, would be in the treehouse because the treehouse, mm-hmm. they built it overnight and it was so cool. Oh, wow. And it was like, it was a beautiful scenery because you could see all of Atlanta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or Colorado. Right. Colorado. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and then my third favorite scene. Oh, I would have to say when, and nine, and the virals are after us and Lila gets bit. And yes. I'm like, no, Kyle. <laughs> that was a great scene because everyone was there that day. And, like, even the guys that were, like, bodyguards were my friends. Aww. It was so cool. Get to see the virals and I got to scream. Yeah, and that's them. dope. Yeah, it was fun. It was yeah, fun. That's that was dope. 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 Now, the treehouse scene was one of my favorites. For sure. Yeah, I think for me, the unicorn. The unicorn, yeah. The unicorn. My favorite was up. when... when um, Brad whack Doyle's head on the oh, on the yeah. dashboard. Oh, yeah. She, she gets for slapping. All about the violence. Here. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? She's wild. Like, She's wild. Yeah. She wild. <laughs> you got to set a precedent. You can't be hitting my girl. Right. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> uh, here's a question, and that we we dealt with this subject a lot on this show when it first came up. Now, Gilder's mustache. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, oh, and you actually, in your character, actually, because we were talking about the first time we saw we were like, what is up with this? You got like a little fan, like his mustache. It's not right. It's not right. It's it's right. Like, I was angry about it. I was angry. I was, And we talked about it, and then you actually said something when you were talking about it, and we were like, oh, did the so writers hear us? Like, I say, screw some... you and your stupid mustache. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines of this whole I'm show. You. <laughs> mm. Gilder. Now, what, now, is that his real mustache? That can't be his. That is James 
real mustache. Oh I'm so what? hurt. I just knew she was going to say it was fake. Right, like that's this is real life, no. people. See, that's the kind of thing that you cut off when somebody sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> you just be like, snip. My if it was my bro. husband, I'd be like, baby, you woke. What happened to your face oh, overnight? Man. Baby, you oh, all. Because so I was like, sorry. I know the effects crew has is to do that. Has, you know, wow. that's this, this is what you get behind the scenes, people. That's his real. It's, so if you guys see him crazy. in the streets, you, listen, you know, hit him up with some no, sympathy. I literally now. just saw him like recently and it actually was a little trimmed. So was <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. Yeah, because he's getting a lot of crumbs. I'm telling you there's crumbs. Now, here, actually, here's a question from uh, from the chat, um, from Taylor Grubbs. It says, hi, Sanaya. Hi. What is it like being the lead child actress on an all-adult cast? Wow, yeah. Uh, you know, being able to look up to them, um, getting advice is very important. But, um, no, it's, it's actually really fun. Um, it's cool, and I get to have my parents meet them so they get to have relationships and I get to I'm like, oh yeah, this is my parents. <laughs> 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 yeah. They have a relationship with them and I have a relationship with them as well. Mm -hmm. And it's just fun. It's, it's good. Yeah. But it's right. cool. yeah. Especially being with uh, Mark Paul, you know, he's been right. in the game for a long time. Yes. I know some of the other actors and actresses have, but mm -hmm. what is it like working with him? You know, I watched him as Zach Morris. Yes. Yeah. You know, so what is it like he working with him? He was my first crush. <laughs> really? Yeah. Uh, Jackie, <laughs> do right. not hurt McKinley. Right. Right, oh, I was about to say. Hey, McKinley down. left the chat. You, you, <laughs> he was like, I was Come about back, to boo. You know, I was young then. I didn't know what I was doing. You know. So, yeah, so, yeah, but what is it like working with him? It's fun. He actually gave me some good advice mm -hmm. um, and get to talk about, you know, how it was for him mm -hmm. and being so young mm -hmm. and coming into it. So many girls liking him. Of course, my pa was like, yeah, I, mean, I had like so many girls around the world talking about Zach Morris. But no, but it was so fun and he was so cool. And again, he had a relationship with my dad. Nah. Yeah, that's sweet. That's what good. what yeah. advice did he give you? What's the best advice he gave you? To have fun and in this industry, you tend to make her up faster than you want to and just to stay a kid and enjoy it and be in the moment you know? yeah you guys hear that that's good advice yeah. i'm gonna take that for myself and stay a kid <laughs> <laughs> and just let that go on with for the next couple of years she's a kid y'all <laughs> right now I, the other thing you actually you had just touched on was um in terms of watching some of the scenes with some of the virals like maybe ones that you weren't in now mm -hmm. first of all they'd be looking at like the makeup people you guys did amazing because those were amazing. some ugly yeah. things looking at, you know, show yeah you Ooh. made shine a bad Cock the veins coming out. Mm. No. So when you saw, like you said, some of the, um, like when they were doing, like you said, some of the, whether it was the stunts breaking out, mm. you know, type thing. Even when they were, uh, like in the at the end, when they were coming after you and Mark Paul and they're banging on the doors, you guys are trying to break out. I mean, there was a lot going on. You know, like I said, especially those last couple episodes. Right. Um, you know, but what was it like just kind of looking at that process in terms of, getting whatever they had to go through to get get ready and then actually seeing them. I mean, were you actually like... Was it scary? It is so crazy because some of the stunt workers that were some of the virals, they were like contortionists mm -hmm. and they would do certain things with their body and I'm like, oh gosh, you're so flexible and it looked so <laughs> creepy and stuff. But it was fun. And like that scene, that's one of actually one of my favorites, but you said top three. So my I can't put it in top three. <laughs> 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 no, no, but it was cool and getting to see them in full, you know, we were so like I was so close to a lot of them. So to like talk after mm -hmm. but like ah and then hey girl like you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was, but it was crazy and it yeah. was so scary. Yeah. Who was the, the scariest? Moment. Who looked the scariest in their makeup? Well, I would have to say Fanny, of course, mm -hmm. top of the top. Oh, yes. yeah. Jamie was, all, and Jamie, you know, did some mm -hmm. things. So I was like, oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say the Nazi vampire. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. she, she, she's one of my favorites, mm -hmm. and she's one of my friends. Oh, and, that's yeah, awesome. She was one of the top scary ones, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, do with the dreads did it. Do with the oh, do yes. with the dress yes. through Clark and broke his back, neck, and everything. Oh, yes. oh my god! Yeah, and no and Tanir was saying he is definitely he was a football player. At right, football. I was like he needs <laughs> to be in the NFL. The way he was, throwing, <laughs> he was with that cross yeah. was like man. That's, now you said you looked up to you know a lot of the actors that were on the set. We have Danny Boy Rampage who said who do you who else do you look up to just outside of acting. Viola Davis. Oh, girl, yes. yes. <laughs> I love my TV. Yes. Um, Kerry Washington. Mm -hmm. Steven Spielberg. Yes. 
Spielberg. No. Yes. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I know that's your crush. You I can say, is that a crush? Or I mean, that a... hey, hey, hey. I could say he's one of my favorites. Oh, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. I don't know if you're allowed to have crushes Everyone, yet. Are you allowed can, to have crushes you, yet? Yes. I'm I, like, you know I'm saying. Dad's here, so I'm not yeah, going to say I'm just saying. I already made that mistake once. I'm not making that again. I see the shotgun. It's okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Jesus, help me. Right. <laughs> That's Steven Spielberg, though. Keep your eye on him. He's going to do some things I'm in gonna this industry. Sooner you know what I mean? Sooner or later. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's done some good stuff. Uh, um, so yeah, kind of continuing on with, like I said, as we moved through the season, just like I said, episode by episode. I know we would come in here and the writers would kind of be piecing stuff together because we'd be like, well, I want to know more about so and so, and how right. did they to talk about this and this? And then I think it's maybe like around four or five, episode four or five. Stuff started to get. You're like, ah, like okay, I understand X, What's Y, and Z, or there? like right. you know what. Um, that was that was a doggy, y'all. Oh, nobody okay. said nobody oh, saw making it. It's right. not what you think. If you heard it, it's not what you think. Oh my god. So, like, oh, no. stay, in <laughs> stay in character to me. Stay in character. So we, uh, like I said, w- one of the things that, I, and I, I have to take uh, take credit on myself. I don't want to toot my own horn, but well, that's that's good. Good. Like, don't talk about the braids. Do so yes, you already know because I was the, when we, when Brad was on the run with you, and I said it must have been episode one or two, and I was like, wait a minute, I was like, Mark Paul is really doing the most. With Amy, I was like, you know, I was like, if I see him down the road braiding her hair, doing something, <laughs> then I'm going to know he's been around black folks like a while. And then, oh, what was it, goodness. episode, was what, it nine? nine, 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 nine yeah. ten. When ten, he was ten, doing ten, yeah. it, I was like, oh my goodness, he's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's doing it. the braids. <laughs> and he did it like the two, and I was like, oh, and you got he up and you were like, it. how'd I look, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Mark Paul doing the most yes. here, you know? So I call him Brad the dad. Yes, Brad the dad. I dig it. He's your dad. He's because he's like he's your father figure. Yes. Do you see him like that in in real life? Do you you have a father obviously, but do you guys still have like a father daughter relationship outside of the show? Yes, and it's also just a friend relationship too. I mean, I can call him a friend, of course. Nice, you know? of course. He's a jokester. He, no, he was the prankster dude. I'm not even kidding. Mark. Mark Paul. What? <laughs> was the prankster and like just the funniest of them all and like. <laughs> did I was, he like, prank That's you? really dope, though. Yeah. You know? What? The, how did he prank you? Well, I mean, he did some things, but most of the things he did were like we had a game where like we would keep score of who scared who. Mm-hmm. And like. He got you. Oh my gosh. Was like, <laughs> he, he would like do the most. Yeah. And I would like sit and eat lunch. And I'd be eating my like quesadilla. And he'd be like, sit down. Like, oh God. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. You gotta love it. That makes it for a good relationship when you're filming, though, you know? You yeah. build that familiarity with everyone. Oh, I you get, really can't have crushes now because your mom is in the chat. I'm just, I'm just okay, saying. Okay, shout out. Be, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> in the What's up, Malik? Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Actually, we have one. I want to shout out uh, Donnie Boy Rampage right here. And this is for you, Sanaya. It says, um, I'm going to tell you, Samaya, Sanaya, how much it means to me and other kids my age. Uh, she is a great inspiration. Oh, Aww. that's awesome. Yes. So you out there doing, <laughs> uh, you know, putting it down. And I, th- I like it just because, like I said, your character is a... It's a strong, you know, smart girl. Like, even yes. at some time, we'd be like, man, Amy gets too yeah. smart. Amy's <laughs> cerebral. <laughs> She's real cerebral. The stuff she'd be doing out there, you know, keeping it, keeping it real, real. Um, I'm saying. I try, to pull her, I try to pull her through to do my homework sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, Amy. <laughs> now, how do you balance that? How do you balance school and acting? Is that is it difficult? Because I think earlier you said you had to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Is that right? Well, for school, yes. Um, <laughs> but um, I go to performing arts, so I do, like, mm. I'm a dancer too, so I have like dance practice, and right now there's a show, so there's like rehearsal and all that, and then I get to do my academics, and there's like tests I have to do and stuff like that. But certain things like that is, um, but no, yes, it's it, it. I keep it comfortable, and um, school is a big priority, especially acting. So them too. I, it's not hard at all. You're so yeah. mature. Like yeah, you're, 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 you're The word is precocious. You know, you're just so precocious. You're you're further along than your age dictates, mm-hmm. you know. So my question to you is, did you always want to be in acting? Did you see yourself going that way? Yes. Okay. Well, um, you know, my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> she was a dancer, mm-hmm. so I wanted to do Aww. both. And then I was like, oh, my 
my God, I gotta do some acting stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, no, I got inspired to do acting. And then I started from there and did some acting classes and met my manager. Oh, yeah. how, did that, how did that happen? How did you meet your manager? Well, when I started my acting class, I was like, hi, I'm, I'm Sanaya, nice to meet you. And she was like, oh, okay. And I did her class for like um, um, a while. And then she was like, I would like the manager. And oh. my mom was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so Done. Excited. Well, okay. yes. I'm going to tell you, really Sanaya. You. She knew it when she met you, she was going to manage you. Oh. <laughs> I hope She's so. She's a star. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's awesome. Now, when you got this script, did you just read the script or did you read the, the novels too? Well, actually, I didn't personally know it was a novel until mm. like I really got into it, and then my dad started reading the books, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Thanks, cool. Dad. Right. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> and then I I realized so much more in the novels, but I read the script first, and mm. I was like, "This character is so cool!" Right. Yeah. What drew you to her? Like, what was the first thing you were like, "This is me. I got to do this." Like, how strong she was after she lost her mother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was like, oh my. God, yeah. she is. Super dope. She's tough. She's really tough. And she didn't let anything take her down. Mm -mm. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. When the season opened, that's the first thing we see. Is we know that the reason why you're the target is because you're all alone. Yeah. Did you film that first, losing your mom first, or? Actually, it was actually yeah, it was the first scene mm. I did of the season. Okay. And it was like it was like oh, welcome to the show. You can have the <laughs> cry. Yeah, today. cry. And have Emily behind you and oh. <laughs> no, that was actually the first scene, and it was it was it was crazy because mm -hmm. it was like it felt so real, mm -hmm. and I was like oh goodness, this is tough. This yeah. is tough. You be having some emotional scenes too. Yeah. Like every time or every uh, mm -hmm. episode, you know, be like, "Man, like something's happening." Yeah. Brad, the Asian, got you us over here be feeling my like my daughter oh. because, honey, every time you cry on the screen, I'm like, holding <laughs> 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 it in, and I feel like I would just give you whatever you wanted. Like she's gonna cry, just give it to her. Aww. <laughs> Keep well, in I mean, mind uh, though, she's very emotional. Like if you say "boo" too loud, yes. she will jump. Oh my no God. shade, no shade. I love you. I have <laughs> bruises are all on my left side. <laughs> my arms we too watch, were from the grabbing of. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> that was how we welcomed Josh to the show. His first day to the panel, because we dwindled down to three for a second, and mm -hmm. then Josh came in, and then, you know, he just sat right in. Didn't even really know we didn't know him until all of a sudden, Sean was, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That was the like, test. If he could handle oh. the arm grab, then he could be on the panel. And he handled yeah. the arm and leg grab. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Arm and leg. How right. That yeah. uh, oh. <laughs> it all happened when a viral came at the screen. She's just nervous. That's right. all. Oh, all the time. Makes, all the time. Mm. She's easy to scare. So if Mark wants to come by and uh, try a prank, I'm just saying, I'm don't, target. don't play with me. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, could, I could spill something. It could be a hazard. <laughs> and the pranks are pretty good. So okay. well, The one thing we did, had, I know that uh, Shauna and Jackie did uh, have a... Uh, I don't know if it's an issue, but they noticed on the the episode when Brad was braiding your hair and stuff, but you got up from a nap and you didn't have a wave oh, cap on. No, yeah. yeah. oh, so that. they were like, wait a minute, wait a minute, especially when <laughs> they saw the at the end, you know, 97 years later, you and when we saw up. the braids and everything, and they were like, but if she wasn't wearing no cap, those braids weren't, you know. <laughs> it's not possible. Your hair wouldn't have made it 97 years if you don't have no cap. I'm just trying to tell you now so you can prepare for the next 97 years. <laughs> don't worry, Sonia, I got you. She was Sitting, she was sleeping pretty. Right. Like just when you have to go somewhere the next day, you don't put your head on the mm -mm. whole bed. No, no, you, just, you don't. You don't rub right. it. Off. You just lean a little. Just, yeah, just look. Just I'm look. saying for the realness factor, if the writers in the writers' room next time, if they're like, okay, so Jackie, like, what would you yeah, know? Like, so this is what she would be doing. If she, you know, <laughs> yeah, black go folks. to Sally's and get a do rag. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, we don't know. A hundred years in the future, maybe they she they got some special <laughs> oil that you just like you Something put it on once and it's like. No, we need a picture. We need a picture of the entire cast just wearing do rags. <laughs> All of y'all seem so tight knit. Like yes. the entire yeah. cast, they watched. You guys watched the finale together. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people came mm -hmm. together, and they you guys have all still been tweeting. Mm -hmm. We're hoping for a renewal of season two. What yes. do you know about that? Uh, <laughs> I mean, way to segue into the putting on the spot. Hey, man, for Kitty real. Pie. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I got it. Mean, no. Mm, I don't know anything yet. I can say another one now. Okay. But I can say we'll know something in a few weeks. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. okay. Maybe we'll, we'll have another we'll after show. Yeah. 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 Well, I've been, <laughs> seen, I've been, Soto seems to think that uh, 
you're definitely getting renewed. And I feel like he he digs enough he would know. Yeah, I Um, do. So he says, um, how do you feel about Mark um, staying with the show because the character is changing? So he's going to be staying with the show longer than what is in the books. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you feel about that? You know, if, if, you know, it happens. If it happens. Um, I think it would be important for Amy to find her. Uh, find her. Find her. <laughs> yes, find her. Find her. Find her. Find her. I need to find him. Um, you know, I think it would be cool to see how that would work and like the journeys of them having to come together and everything. But I think it should be cool and mm-hmm. I think it's important. Because I'm yeah. thinking 97 years, you've just been rock, rolling through the I mean, earth. You like, everybody. You know, I'm you, thinking like Sister Lacey. Like she made, and she I feel like there. 97 years later, you his mama now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's old. But <laughs> she's still taking out the virals though, with that bow and arrow. Just like, oh, wham, you know, like. Uh, and your chest. brains were still right. tight. Mm. Like, who yeah. braided your good, hair like, for that last, <laughs> not, you know. It, it, okay, so we had a debate. Shauna and I did. You know, we have our mo- moments. Was it actually braided or was it a lace front? I saw the baby hair out there. I know what's up. I, I, we think it's a lace front. I know front. what's up. Your baby hair was popping. And, and when your baby hair is popping that much, it had to be a wig. I don't want to give it away. Oh. Yeah. Oh. You don't have to. You don't have to. Don't right. you don't start have crying. To. She ain't going to do nothing over here. She don't have to give it away. <laughs> hey, I can say it was perfectly laid and you know it was laid and laid. 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 Okay. Laid. What it was my mama said uh, fried died and laid, laid to, to the, the side, side. oh my god okay all right all right the best comeback <laughs> <laughs> you know from the south you know what i mean mm-hmm. i have a yes. question so i had a prediction mm-hmm. my prediction was that amy is going to find a colony i know that we don't know if it's going to be a season two but mm-hmm. just in if we're going to do fan fiction you guys give me a moment would you have Amy find a colony that Brad was in, or would you need to just go searching for him through the woods? Like, how do you feel? Do you feel like Amy needs to find him and they need to be alone for a second, or you feel like we need a community here? I mean, I think it would be important for her not to find him at at that moment and then, like, going somewhere, and then he's there, mm-hmm. and she's like, oh, my gosh. Right. <laughs> and it's yeah. like emotional. a whole emotional scene. But, I mean, I think he should be away for a second, him kind of, find it way like Lacey did how she felt connected to Amy yeah I think that would be important for him to find his way and then something happened they find each other you know mm-hmm. yeah. I, I hear you, writer. I hear you. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm just, just saying. I'm just giving, I'm just and if the writer, like, I can put in my two cents right, right in the room. Right. <laughs> and if right. the writer taking notes, right. Right. now you know. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So did you? So you actually saw the the last uh, the last couple episodes. You guys had like the viewing. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we were talking again because I was like talking. One of my favorite characters, also besides yourself, was Sister Lacey. Yeah. Because she was always keeping it like for real, my for real. Man, you know, eighteen yeah. mile hike yeah. to Telluride. But I did have an issue when she was coming to get you guys. Yes, I'm not with that. Why bro. did she get dropped off? Like 20 miles, bro. And we just saw her walking with the guy. Like, I'm, I'm just like, by the, the time, Calabasas, y'all. Right. I'll see y'all later. I was like, by the time she get there, the war might be over. You know? Yeah. She just pulled up in the jeep, was all calm when you guys were coming to the. She like. Oh, just get in, y'all. You know, I was like, could we move a little quicker? She was <laughs> so, I like, believe in Sister Lacey and how solid she is. I think that she knows. Nothing ain't happening here without me and God. Right. Just do, listen, let's move slowly and let's get it done. Mm. It's like, I said it was her warm up. Like, just in case, you know, sometimes you got to loosen up before the big fight. It's the 18 <laughs> mile warm up. Warm up for the 18 much. miles up. She's <laughs> tired. Okay. Now, actually, let me ask you this because when we first see you guys, when you guys first showed up on the scene with, or I should say, when Lacey first showed up on the scene, when uh, you and Brad, you guys show up at her house. And there was just kind of that instant connection. I mean, mm-hmm. she just seemed like kind of like the big mama type, you know? Like there was, you just saw that. Uh, Protector. Yeah, just yeah. like when she came, you were like, and even with me, I was just like, oh, like I could relate to like, that's someone in my family and the way she kind of mm-hmm. took you guys in. She had one relationship with Brad, which you could kind of tell was the military, like, you know where the guns is at, how yeah. we do things. Mm-hmm. And then right. with you, it was kind of like, come here. Like, you know, we're not going to cry. We're not, you know, and you were like, okay, like, we, you know. So like, talk about that kind of relationship when that was introduced. Um, like in the script or you saw that character and how you guys kind of bonded or did those scenes. Yeah, and the, it was important because the writers were like, yes, we're bringing Lacey in from the books and we are creating a beautiful character. And I was like, oh, goodness, yay. Mm-hmm. And when they first told me who they casted for Lacey, I was like, perfect. Keisha Lewis yes. is the most beautiful. Yes. Um, she was perfect. Yeah, she, she was. She was perfect. She's charismatic. Mm-hmm. She, she yeah. was. She she fit Lacey so well, mm-hmm. and she just gave that performance that I was just like, oh my gosh, yes. 
yes, mm-hmm. I believe everything you're saying. I, yes. I believe you are, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it was, it was, it was like a really good beginning yeah. into something beautiful, you know? I agree. Yeah, I it agree. Was so great. Did you work with the author to, did the author work with the casting director together? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Justin. that was great. So oh, he, that makes Justin sense. Justin Cronin, who is the author, for anyone who doesn't know of the Passage Trilogy, which is like majorly popular and wonderful. But he, um, I know for a fact he's working closely with you. I saw a picture of you guys together. I love him. He seems like such a great guy. No, yes. Did he um, have his vision on like, okay, that's what I think Sister Lacey needs to look like. That's what I think, you know, like how do they do it? Well, Justin and Liz got pretty close because Liz is the writer, of course, mm-hmm. and he got close to all the writers and especially Liz. And they were talking about like, okay, so like, what would you think? You know, this would be perfect in or certain things like that. But he, whatever the casting felt, this was the person. They were like, Justin, what do you think? Like you said, yeah. And he was like, everything's perfect. This is <sighs> this is how I feel. Mm. And when they, ca- like I'm saying something universe god was like this is the person so yeah. you gotta cast her because yes. she was perfect for Lacey. Yeah. She, yeah, she was yeah i was, I was about to, them are perfect. i was about to get yeah. heated in that I first love. scene when we thought she went down yeah oh, oh i'm man. so mad about to write in the box yeah. and you're like no you can't do this to I'm me like, they finally found somebody right like, <laughs> and here go Lacey falling down <laughs> They she would go out like that, you know. Yes. Man, I need to rewrite you the know. script. But the chat, though, the chat had up. our back on that ep- episode, and they were like, "Calm down, y'all," because right. a lot of the chat, you know, had read the books. The chat, first of all, the, they the fans <laughs> here at AfterBuzz, they absolutely adore you. They absolutely, oh, absolutely. adore the show. I love so, you guys, yes. Oh, so, thank you um, for being here. I do want to. Ivan had a good question. Um, oh, hi, Ivan. Yeah, <laughs> Ivan. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so, why do you why do you think Amy still called? Um, called Wolgas agent mm. after being with him for a month. Why not at least let him elevate to Brad? <laughs> <laughs> elevate <laughs> levels. 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 Um, uh, I think the reason why she calls him agent is because that's what she connects to. Mm. Um, you know it's endearing. I, I mean I can't I can't really say what she might do if we get a season two, what she may call him, she may mm-hmm. be like, oh my gosh, Brad, or something like yeah. that, you know. <laughs> but um, I think she just connects to that because that's the first person she saw when she got captured and that's what she heard. Right. She didn't that's hear, true. hey, Brad, right. hey, Will guy. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, so she just connects to that, I think, yeah. so. I love so, the name. I think it's so cute that she calls him the agent. I do too. It's kind and of I've seen you guys' tweets. That y'all, they they give me life in real life. <laughs> like I love you, the agent. Right. Y'all, yeah. Uh, you never forget the, at, the uh, chat. Yeah. Y'all gonna have never. to get Shauna and this this marshmallow personality out of here today. I mean, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> she's killing me today. She's so sweet today. I'm, I'm so sweet all the time. Let's be realistic. Unless you want to talk about Clark. Right. I was about to be like, Clark. Oh, no, I can, can I go with Clark first? You can because I love him now, you guys. Okay. Oh okay. my goodness. For anybody that's asking, this is my Why question. You, see, that's the telltale this sign. First of all, when somebody lying to you, if they do this, <laughs> that's, 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 that's cold for I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I want to know how it was seeing the transformation with Clark's character mm-hmm. from being the negative guy to the positive guy. Which I knew he would. Yes. <laughs> <But continue. laughs> how was it dealing with that transformation? How did you do that? Vincent Piazza. Mm-hmm. Who plays Richard Clark? Yes. Ah. Um, he his arc was a pretty big thing in what he was dealing with Shauna Babcock. Mm-hmm. And whenever I hear Shauna now, I think of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I hear that name Shauna, and I'm like Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, like of what he was going through, I think it was important. I think it was kind of important for what Shauna did. Because, I mean, she was kind of like, bro, get us out, and when we get mm. out, we're going here, we're going here, you know, mm. we're going to Las Vegas, you're going to help me, and blah, 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 right? But I think it was important because he kind of opened up and was like, oh, man, I kind of realized what they're doing, mm-hmm. and I right. think this is wrong, and now I'm helping, right. and, like, now I got to get people to believe me, and now I got to get people to be on my side, yeah. you know? So to see that, I was like, oh, thank God yeah. they made him yeah. into a, an good character in the end, yeah. you know? He revived himself. See how Jackie's looking at me right now? <laughs> <laughs> the way that she's looking at me. <laughs> I want to say it's true that, you know, people make mistakes 
everyone is not always on the right side of things when you first start but clark did come through in the end as our boy and i did keep hope alive at the end of the day she did so you know i always do um but he, i don't know he just wasn't as interesting as our boy anthony nobody was like, like look mr look, look. Jackie why, why you know why you're doing this to me i don't know why you did first i'm mm. handing it over to you Thank, well i mean that that you got to prepare me if i'm gonna think about anthony i need a warning there were a couple episodes i think there was an episode where anthony wasn't shown like at all oh, and it was like it. sad time like i didn't even think she was oh, gonna man. film that was my bad bite for the day i'm like my bad bite right she was like writers i think she was mad Shooting at Anthony. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really did get upset. Even with that. though like, he killed real, somebody, look, he bit my girl Lila. I the saw the people on the, the grass. Y'all, he he was, was like, ah. he y'all. needs to put his hands down because he does not like Lila. No, I oh, don't. Yeah. Uh oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You want to come sit here by him and oh, talk to him? Oh my goodness! He says that she's useless. No. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> am I snitching? And am I gonna get stitches? Oh, um, 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 that okay. was no. That I was. A, I remember that. Like, I was I even. I was kind of <laughs> moving away. Don't look at us. Make like, eye contact. Why, would you, why would you say that? Why would you say that? What I believe is that Lila was convenient, mm. but I argued if she was necessary. How is that so, different than what she just said? Was so she not <laughs> like a, okay, let's just go ask, ahead. Let's go ask ahead. Our dear Amy here. Go ahead. Was she not like a mother figure to you? See what the, do you think? Somebody, I don't know when. Oh, oh my God. God. What? Here we go. Why does she just I'm say fired. it? I'm getting heated. <laughs> now she's like, you know what? I'm just going to be like, 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 this is what I said about Lila. You heard that silence. He's like, yeah. He's like, let me get it together. I mean, that's just. He's trying to think. Okay, so I did if you not think have in <laughs> ten. How is she not a mother figure? Mm. She literally said at the gas station to um, what's his name? They were like, oh, we got a ten year old at home. Oh, uh, yeah, Brian or Brian. Jacob? Yeah, Brian. Mm-hmm. Well, they were like, and then they were like, yeah, we got a ten year old at home. Yeah. That Who means- was? Well, okay. Well, this is how I'm looking at it. Okay. I'm gonna pull okay. this from real life. Okay, I'm gonna use, use brevity. Okay, so I Lord. knew somebody who had a son. Mm-hmm. The son played basketball, mm-hmm. made it to the NBA. Mm-hmm. The mom raised him, but then the dad came along when he got to the NBA. Mm-hmm. I feel like Amy. Oh no, he's not doing this. Made it to the no. end Mm-mm. with Brad, Mm-mm. and here's Lila coming in like, "Oh my bad, bro, I'm here though." <laughs> That's not how that oh, went. That's no. just. You know what? She this, came with before. She I did. knew about this woman. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before. About this. What about when she? They were in the car and she got scared because Brad was over there dying, and she called Lila, and Lila was the one who told her Help rub your through. thing on the chest. Yeah, Sternum the noogie. Rub. The noogie. noogie on the chest. Selective amnesia. <laughs> you know what? Uh, we're not gonna go with that. We're I'm gonna losing. Go we're gonna. <laughs> but I'm standing firm. <laughs> <laughs> I will not. What you you know what? I can help you. I can help you. I can help this get back to normal ground. Wait, did he just bring the Lord? He did. You I shall not. I shall not. Wow. I think even the Lord was like, you on your own on this forgive, one. Forgive us for our trespasses. Right. 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 Oh, my goodness. For we have sinned. Tanir was here when we were watching it, and I said something about Lila. And Tanir was like, now, nah, Josh, you know, um, you're not going to make it the rest of the show. <laughs> Because they were they were getting ready to get me, so I will say that. But I'll save you. By but you, you cleared it up, Miss Sonia. Mm-hmm. You yes, cleared you it did. Up. Yes, you did. You changed my mind a little bit. Yeah, oh, here you go. <laughs> a little bit should be a lot. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. We get, we're on the same page, JJ. We're the chat the says page. you just got burned. God. Oh no! Lord. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm, just, I'm about to do it. Oh, it's time for the good bite. Back. Yes. Oh, man, let's do that. <laughs> let's do it. You guys know what Good Bite, Bad Bite is? Tanir will tell you. Oh, mm-hmm. well, this is our time when you come through. Well, I guess for a season-long, you know, uh, recap, what right. is your season-long Good Bite, Bad Bite? And since we have a guest today, we will start with yes. you. What if you're good, and you can have a Good Bite and a Bad Bite, or just a Good Bite? Um, so, like, the Good Bite, Bad Bite is, like, what is it, like? Good Bite is... Or? Like your favorite, something that you felt was super good. Like, ooh, if if I bit into this, it would be so yummy. Or like my like, favorite moment. Or your favorite this season. moment. Um, and when I say bit into this, I mean like analyze it. And then your bad bite is who did not do well. And you know my bad bite has been Clark for a while, but I'm changing that up tonight. <laughs> oh. Okay, good, good. <laughs> and you need to clear that up. <laughs> Let's put a band aid on it. Just that. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> the oh my goodbye. I think. 
I can see the Shauna and Clark relationship going maybe into a good direction. Mm. Of what happened. Mm, shark, so, team shark, mm-hmm. team shark. Baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, baby shark, we shipped them. Yeah. So Shauna and Shark Clark is we gonna talk to Tanir about it after. Okay, anyway. Tenere, I'm just goes. wondering, like you went into the song. Just like, wake yeah. up, Tanir. <laughs> okay. But, 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 yeah, but yeah, I see that, I see that going places. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 So what's going on? Good bite. That's, that's the that's good like, bite. That's a good bite. Mm-hmm. The bad bite. I would say. Uh, I don't know. Um, let me think. Oh. Uh, Lear giving myself the injection. Oh my god, was, that yeah. was so messed yeah. up, bro. <laughs> and it was like, dude. this fanning's getting through that. Oh. I gotta get there. I was like, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. You just wasted it. Yeah. yeah now he's gonna be ahead. He wants to be right there with his best friend mm-hmm. and try to. I think I think he just wants to like just have peace with it. Fan is like, no. This is how we change the world. Mm. Just like, yeah, oh no, man. Yep. No. I'm so. scared already. I, I know yeah. season two is coming, y'all, because I have the intuition and I'm afraid of what you just said. Fanning being like, this is how the. No, no, Fanning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder what he's good from 97 years of what he's mm. already done. Mm. Bro, you know? Ooh, yep. Wow. What's your, what's your good well, and bad? Okay, my good bite. I'm going to uh. go with. Um, I just want to give props to Dr. Sykes, who sacrificed herself. Mm. She is my good bite. Maybe. Oh, here you Maybe. go. Mm, yummy. We didn't. We did not find a body. <laughs> we don't know. So, we, so she might true. still be hanging That's around. True. But somewhere. just the fact that she was willing to sacrifice herself, she tried to sacrifice herself more than once. She did say fake I love you at the end, but it's okay because you was about mm-hmm. to die. Girl. He should afford to call. <laughs> my <clears throat> my bad bite is going to be um, just the virals in general. They are going around biting men, women, and children. Mm-hmm. Just like Shauna said, she's not trying to live like an animal, and neither am I. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Josh? Well, I'm going to start off with my bad bite. Yes, thank you, Josh. <laughs> um, my bad bite is, um, oh, Lord, it, um, mustache. Mm. Gilder. 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 Yes. Gilder. My bad bite is Gilder setting up everybody, you know, taking them out of the security, listening to Ruiz. And uh, my good bite is... Mm, yummy. Yes, it's gonna be real <laughs> yummy. My good bite is Lila being a mother figure to Amy. Don't try to shame oh, yourself now. Don't try to do no. Hey, no, we put a no, man no, in that no. and that's no. how we're done. Get you a man who listens. Ain't nobody falling for that. <laughs> you know that's the that's the political answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about you? All right. <laughs> So my bad bite is actually same as yours is that well Dr. Sykes here's the thing people don't do the I'm dying I love you because what if you don't die and then now you're still alive and you're looking at this person mm-hmm. and like hey, you know about that I love you know I thought I was going to die just to die I love you and then of course my good bite is the fact that none of them bullets landed and Anthony's still alive praise God praise God praise God <laughs> wow and I'm just going to wrap it up with uh, my good bite um goes to Mark Paul braiding that hair oh, all my you know hey, I, that yeah. was like one of my favorite things just it because was. I called it and I was like I knew it you know <laughs> thank you yes. with the horns and everything um and I really didn't have I mean there was a lot of bad bites like for the the season I guess like I said my stuff is so superficial but Gilder's mustache still I'm bothers me that's the crumbs, the crumbs. we gotta get that but together but my so. overall good bite has to go to our girl Amy yes yes yes, yes. 97 years later with the archery like ha ah, ha what you yes. need yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, she can do it in real life y'all she can do it in real life so if that so zombie apocalypse hey, happens hey. Yes. you gonna feed us all yeah come with me to an archery class oh, oh she's she's like, bro. Got she gotta you gotta go know? man there we go. oh my gosh she's Kill our new friend you guys you all heard her say it. We can come with her to an archery class. Right. Mm-hmm. We'll okay. get some footage of that. You know, <laughs> the <laughs> panel. We and definitely are just... the panel to be like, hey, girl, hey. Right. Yes. Right. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> right. Hey. Man. <laughs> well, normally I think we would do. Normally we would do predictions at this time, but we done predictions. Yes. Like, yeah, you know, so we just it. want you guys to come back so we yes. can Thank continue you for doing more. So we Fox, if you're listening out there, please listen to us. Listen to the people. You yes. know, we represent season the people. Two. Season two. We yes. need that need season two. You know, so. Um, well, Sanaya, again, yes, we cannot so say well. thank yes. you enough. Tell everybody where we can find you. Yes. Yes. Y'all can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Sanaya Sydney. Yes. Shania, or I'm sorry, Shania. 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 My daughter's name is Shania, so that's perfectly fine. You guys can find me everywhere. 
Just on Twitter. At Deshano. <laughs> I'm everywhere at Cleverly Clad. I am also on all things social media at Jerry the Fanatic. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Tanir W. So again, you guys, thank you for joining us. Yes. Whether you're thank watching you by so the internet, listening us by podcast. Again, thanking our special guest, uh, Miss Sanaya Sydney, yes. coming yes. out, aka Amy. So we will be looking out for you guys. I'm believing that season two season is two. we're, we're going to be getting that. So we're going to yes. be seeing oh, you guys God. again yes. next season. All right, <laughs> all right. You guys have a blessed week. Holla. Take care. Bye. <laughs>